Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's Slow Stitch video, we're going to create a very fun and easy project, perfect for beginners. We're going to slow stitch a fabric paint swatch. Now, this sounds a little kind of fun and whimsical, and it is. What we're going to do is go through our stash of fabric and just choose a group, maybe four or five pieces, that coordinate. I choose it by color scheme, but you can certainly choose it by other things, by theme, by pattern, anything that really coordinates nicely. It doesn't have to match perfectly. And then from there, we're going to cut it to shape and stitch it down just onto a little piece of fabric. I use quilt backing. And then from there, you can leave it as is or you can embellish it further. In today's video, I'm going to use a button, but in previous pieces of work, I've stitched little pumpkins or flowers onto it. It just kind of ties the whole piece together, and it's done on a whim, so don't feel you have to do something like that. This project is simple, and it's a fun way to create something without using new supplies and just using what you have, using some basic stitches, and transforming it. From here, you can continue to add to this collection of little fabric swatch paint samples throughout the year. It's a really fun way to use your fabric scraps and work on your design process at the same time. So let's get started. So here are some examples of just the fabric paint swatch. Now I just think it's really lovely. You use up scraps of fabric and you kind of go according to color families or even schemes that you like. Like this one is the pumpkin scheme. And I saw I embroidered a little pumpkin here, but I have beautiful oranges, some green, and then a beige, just pumpkin colors. Here I did a bunch of yellows, and this one has a little contrast in it, but it does have the yellow. And then I made just a little fabric sunflower. These little touches are extra, they're not necessary. Here's one that I'm working in progress with where I just chose my fabrics and I started to stitch them down. Now one thing that I do is I use a single thread or single color thread to stitch all the parts and that gives it a cohesive unit. And then I'll find something interesting to add to it. I'm not really quite sure just yet for this one, could be something as simple as a button, or I could leave it just plain as it is. You can even add a little piece of folded ribbon. But the idea is then I'll have an assortment of these, and I could either make a book with them or stitch them together, but they're just really fun projects in themselves, and it's a way to use that creative energy that I have, as well as my scraps. So for today's project, let's get started by choosing our fabric scraps. And I actually really enjoy this part of sorting through my scraps and coming up with a theme. So here I went through my scraps and I came up with two color families, a blue, sort of a royal blue, and then like this tealy turquoise, two of my favorites. Today I'm gonna to work with the blue, but as you can see here, I just went through my little scrap pile and chose any fabric that had those colors. So I'll set this one aside for now and work on this at a later point. And then I have just a little piece of quilting here. Now I chose to go with three and a half by six inches. And the important thing to remember isn't so much what size you make, but just to make them all the same size. This just makes them consistent and that way you can have a, a nice neat little book, just like with paint swatches, they're all the same size from the same manufacturer. So now that I have my swatch and I have my fabrics, now the fun part begins where I just choose a bunch of fabrics to combine and I can decide the order in which I want to use them. And it's kind of fun here because I have a lot of contrasts. I have all these different patterns, these different shades of blue, and now I can really just have fun creating them. I choose one to start with. It'll be this one, I think. And I'll just spend time getting this one to be the size that I want it to be. It's a little bit easier when it has these straight lines. Just makes it so I can cut it without having to make a sketch on it. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So that's the size that I like. So now I'll just go through these fabrics and play around with adding them accordingly, just until I get something that I really like the looks of. And to do that, I think I'll just quickly choose a few fabrics here. Maybe I'll start with those. 
and I just want to make sure that they're the right size. They're long enough to create that piece, and they are. So now I'll just cut them all out, and then I can play with them, creating the exact pattern that I want. Using my piece as my guide, and just cutting the other pieces to size. So now I have five little strips here, and I could see how I want to add them to my piece here, just playing around. I might trim them down further, I might change them up, or I might just add four strips. The four fits nicely. I'm not crazy about this pattern. So I'll just play around with it until I get one that I really like. And that works for me. So now I'll just pin the first one into place that I'm going to stitch down. And I know I'll use these. So I'll just put them over here in order that I want them. And I'll start by stitching this down. I chose some of this beautiful royal blue thread. It's just a pearl cotton. And then I just make a simple running stitch. You can vary the size of your stitches whether you want them large or small. And if you don't want to do a running stitch, you can do another stitch just as easily. I like to anchor it with one stitch first, and then I'll do the running stitch the length that fits my needle. And I bend the fabric into position, And then I'll continue stitching all the way around. And so I have my first swatch sewn down. I'll continue doing this with the remaining swatches. So I finished stitching all the way around. I have my little fabric paint swatch here. It's really adorable. And I'm very pleased with how it came out. And I like the variation. I like that I have so many blues with strictly just blue or blue and white. And then I have another fabric that pulls in the blue, but also adds a pop of color. I think that's a really nice look. Now I wanted to add another element to it, either a button or something. I think I'm gonna add just a little simple button. I think I'm gonna just stitch that star down. I have some other buttons, but I like that star. So I'll add that star and then have my fabric swatch complete. So you don't have to add an element if you don't like, but I'm really pleased with how this came out. And so now I can add this to my collection of other fabric paint swatches. It's a fun way to use up little fabrics and to really work on my design work here by choosing the fabric and then finding an unexpected piece that really brings the piece to life. So that's how I create my fabric paint swatch. It's kind of a fun thing to do. I like to add to this little collection that I have throughout the year, whenever I have a bunch of leftover fabrics or just some pieces or even a theme that I want to incorporate just onto a little piece. I use my creative energy and I come out with something new. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.